we managed to watch an entire show series on Netflix called The Black Knight. Yeah. Or Black in, Knight, right? Yeah, that's There's the no American th- version. And the Korean is... Tekbegisa. Tek the translation is really interesting because kisa can mean a little, like a lot of different things. It's a homonym. The, the term kisa can be applied to somebody with a very specific skill, such as like driving or, you know, and so a delivery person is a kisa nim, right? Oh, okay. Um, and we don't have like a, it, it's not... There's no gender to it. Like, you Mm -hmm. know, I think in English, it's usually like delivery man. And then I kept on noticing that in the translation, the subtitles, it kept on saying delivery man. But it's, you know, it could be anybody. It could be any gender. Ah, okay. Um, And that's why in a taxi, you say kizanin. Ah. Yeah. Um, But the kiza in can also, with different Chinese characters, it could mean night like in the medieval times oh okay 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 so the english translation used the other kiza Mm -hmm. but it kind of fits into the context of the series to call them black knights because they are kind of like saviors right um so i thought immediately ever since i saw the trailer i thought that was very interesting Mm, yeah so something very mundane became something very um in the process of translating it Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. became uh, very grandiose. That's interesting. I like yeah. these kind of clever uh, wordplay kind of translations. Definitely, uh, and I'd like to. I'd like to know who did that because it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Well, there's also like Seoul is mm-hmm. filled with delivery people, like delivering food. They're delivering the heroes furniture. of our nation. Yeah, they, they deliver are the everything. true heroes of our nation, yeah. especially during COVID. I mm. nobody could have survived without them. Right. We are insanely dependent on delivery. Mm-hmm. So this series, I have so much to say about this Mm -hmm. before we even get into the plot. Mm -hmm. But one of them is that it's based on a webtoon, right? Yes. Um, And the webtoon, I don't know when it was written, but it kind of seems like it was written during COVID. There were so Mm -hmm. many things that were just so reminiscent of the COVID era, like specifically 2020. Mm-hmm. It was very specific to Korea with the QR codes mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. like um, the delivery and the masks, mm-hmm. you know. So this world kind of gave us a glimpse of uh, we when when we saw this world that they had built, In it this show. didn't seem very out of reach. Yeah, so they were definitely building on what was going on during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So you had what you're talking about, the QR codes, and it's tattooed on their on their hands. Mm-hmm. And some people are also microchipped. Right. And, yeah. you know, the the evil corporation can, it's just some of them, but the evil corporation can hit a button and kill them. Right. Uh, and, and it's sort of like it does something to your brain chemistry to mm. make you loyal to this company. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 And they voluntarily chipped themselves. Yes. That's the really Korean part of the whole thing. But there was a lot of voluntary stuff. In this world, I'm just going to briefly explain. um, By the way, heavy spoilers throughout this whole episode. Mm -hmm. Um, So there are different districts that people can live in. So a comet hits South Korea, well, the the world in South Korea becomes a desert mostly. All but 1% of the population survived. Survived. And then this 1% of the population is divided into um, several districts. Yeah, there's the pyramid structure. Yeah. Yeah. There's the core and the core, you know, they breathe really, they have a system in which they breathe fresh air and they live in, you know, they have access to like water and healthcare and like Mm -hmm. all that. And they have all these like luxuries. Um, And then there's the general uh, district where they basically, they are the working class, right? And it's actually like people aspire to be working class because most of the people I love this of the population are refugees and refugees get nothing yeah and they have to um they they can barely survive on the oxygen that because we have to they have to we (laughs) they have to buy oxygen from this one because it just didn't seem very far-fetched um they have to buy oxygen from this one corporation who monopolizes um oxygen they um, get the oxygen through the delivery yeah, men, yeah. right? And the delivery men have to be very skilled. 
the delivery people, not the delivery men, because there's no gender in Korean, in the Korean kisa. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. there were women. Yes. Yeah. The delivery people have to have a certain set of skills because they have to like constantly fight refugees, like these hooligans who are trying to like, you know, yeah. steal from them, yeah. right? And the refugees don't have access to enough um, oxygen or food or mm-hmm, anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and the refugee, the only way a refugee can get into the general district yes. is if they become a delivery man and yes. a delivery person. Right. In order to become a delivery person, you have to like win tournaments or stuff like mm-hmm. that. So that was vaguely rem- reminiscent of the Hunger so, Games. So yeah. this this show is like, we've already seen allusions to, I mean, this show is sampling from so many other shows. The Hunger Games, mm-hmm. you've mentioned. I'm seeing this because the delivery persons, the delivery people exist kind of outside of the law. Mm-hmm. Um, but they have authority of law, I guess, right, right. to kill anybody, to do whatever. Right. And but then it's so funny because it comes down to the main, the mundane thing of their actual job is like, there's a bit of comedy about you know scan my QR code. Yeah, it's like yeah, oh yeah. yeah right, get off the phone, scan the QR. Which code. is a very 2020 thing. It is like yeah. But it um, made me think of Judge Dredd. Yeah, there was a lot of Judge Dredd. The aesthetic yeah. was yeah. very Judge Dredd, right? And it was Mad Max. Mm-hmm. It was part Dune. It was even there's elements of the X Men because spoilers. Right. Mm-hmm the the chosen one that the youth you know you've got this kind of archetypal young kid mm. what's his name Sawol Sawol mm. who wants to become a delivery man like mm. you were saying getting out of refugee status in order to become a delivery man and become this person who is all of a sudden high privilege he's a mutant it is revealed mm. in like episode 3 or something right and yeah so there's this class dynamic going on mm. and to me this was reflecting the absolute bonkers capitalism that is in Seoul. Yes, and it's so true. And yeah. the, the reason I said that the the most Korean thing about the show is that people got voluntarily microchipped. Voluntarily, <laughs> yes. And the reason one would do some such a thing is because if you're guaranteed a privileged existence, yes. You will surrender to the corporate. Sacrifice your yeah. body to the corporation. Yeah. yeah, and you will give up your rights, and that's happening today. It's happening today in your certain... field of work. Definitely, yeah. Um, I'm. I do voiceovers for co- corporations, mm-hmm. Korean corporations, and um, some big ones that we won't name. Yeah, the one that starts with an S in particular. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's also the one that starts with an L and ends with a G. Yeah. And <laughs> Well, the, the one that starts with an S also ends with a G. But that one yeah. in particular, there were a lot of um, nods to that that one. Uh-huh. Right. So Chun Myung. Yep. That's the corporation yeah. that's in charge of mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. Uh, they had developed. So it turns out that they had sort of created this problem in order to sell yes oxygen right so there was enough oxygen they're even pumping pollution yeah, into yeah. the neighborhoods yeah. yeah um and i think that that's happening i mean it's happening to a certain degree even now and i wouldn't put it i wouldn't put put it past corporations korean corporations or any other corporation mm-hmm. to just um kind of forego any type of you know, social responsibility or you know, just anything. They're going to do whatever is in the purview of what they can prove in a legal sense. Right. So. And that's sort of in the In the problem. future, mm-hmm. I, you know, corporate, corporate power is obviously growing all mm-hmm. over the world. And when we look at something like AI, which is mm-hmm. developed by corporations uh, in partnership with the military and in partnership with academia, you've got this elite class, mm-hmm. you know, that's, controlling this AI future that's hitting us right now, yeah. this show is not all that far off the mark. I agree. And the fact that people voluntarily in Korea are voluntarily you know, giving up their bodies mm-hmm. in order to uh, get the chip, um, have the QR code, you know, mm-hmm. the, the ideology of if you work hard enough and if you're exceptional enough, you'll make it. Mm-hmm which is what everybody is thinking here with every business that they own and they start up. And, you know, that's the thing that's sold in the corporate world when Mm -hmm. you get out of college and you join, you know, for example, the tech industry or whatever industry you're in. So it's very realistic in that sense. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. 
Which leads me to another point. I heard that the budget for this show was significantly lower than like a show, a less successful show that is produced in the U.S., right? So Netflix pumped a lot of money into Korea, mm-hmm. but the Korean production companies do so much more with a lot less of the budget. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that, there was a documentary about this recently in Korea, is because everybody's overworked. Nobody's getting paid overtime. There are no... Um, r- laws Mm -hmm. that prevent actors or Mm -hmm. you know people who work on set um from overworking themselves Mm -hmm. like even the act i mean i've been in this these situations it happens in the entertainment across fields yeah Yeah. and there's just nothing that can prevent um there are no unions for the writers that's the thing so in the states there's unions in europe there's unions but in korea there's no union appeal it seems like right and and then even like people are kind of against unions in this really weird way it's ideological it's like, it's, it's, yeah. it's it's because nobody wants to make a stink about it right and yeah. then you know nobody if, wants to be the first because you're going to get fired if you're the first you're totally going to get fired yeah. and there's somebody they're going to find somebody who's going to do it for cheaper mm-hmm. for longer hours mm-hmm. and people have aneurysms and die in this industry yeah and that's how these shows are made mm-hmm. the shows that you enjoy on netflix are the product of these over an exploitation of labor complete exploitation yeah. Yeah. and um and that's not even hyperbole that's just actually what's going on yeah like yeah. uh have you been have you ever done like a 20 hour editing session because i know people who do that mm-hmm. you know just sit there and edit for 20 hours a day mm-hmm. because somebody else will if you don't yeah, yeah. and you got to do it fast mm-hmm. and so that might explain why it looked like it was made in like okay, a week. So, the, <laughs> so now that we've said that, mm-hmm. <laughs> it seems shameful to kind of shit on the uh, aesthetics, but it did have the 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 CGI left a bit um, to be desired. Yeah. But maybe it's that's the aesthetic now. It looked like a video. It looked like rendering three D renderings for a video game. Yeah. Like the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But maybe that's how people, young people, are seeing the science fiction now. Maybe they're seeing it more um, through video games, and so their um, their eyes are attuned to saying. that aesthetic. I see what you're saying. But, but I didn't think the I didn't think that the CGI was very good. It wasn't because yeah. it was very low budget, apparently. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And so, and then Netflix figured out that oh, these Koreans will pump out like really successful mm. shows with just two, three million. Right. And so, you know, they're pumping in a lot of money to this country, but they're also like not giving, it's not really being divided properly. Mm -hmm, Um, mm -hmm. And so, and then now they're starting to do that in Thailand. Okay. Well, we'll see. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, the corporations will figure out a way to get what they want for as little money as possible mm-hmm. right and so this show kind of like symbolizes it's it's a it's an allegory for this happening lots in, of things yeah, but yeah. In, in like so many things i want to go back to the nation thing yeah so i i don't even know if we can say nation on youtube without getting flagged so let's call it the word that starts with a v the v Pax, word Pax. yeah so i'm, I'm going to call it the v word that you know, the V word that rhymes with Maxine. So we'll call it the V word from now on. Okay. So the V word, there's an element of the V word Mm -hmm. in this show Mm -hmm. where it's encouraged. It wasn't mandatory, right? No. Okay. So they're saying that if you're a refugee and you, they they had a program, right? So there's the refugee class. Yeah. So the government, there's a government, and then mm-hmm. there's Chunmyung, the conglomerate yes. that's controlling the market. And right? then there's the military. And then there's the military. So they are kind of against each other. The government actually does want to invite the refugees to live in the general dist- mm-hmm. district. So the the conglomerate suggested a V word that the um, refugees can get in order to enter yes. the general district. Right. district right first and they so, have to get this v word yeah they have to get a a test 
first. They have to get a physical exam. Yeah. yeah. And then if they have to get a V word. Yeah. And they show these tents. Right. Just like the. The C word. The C times. word te tests that you would get. But they're getting the V word. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> there's a scene. Um, and I like this about my country. You can openly say this. There are so many things that I don't like about this country, mm -hmm. but th this is one thing that I like about this country. There are people who are like totally openly against the V word, mm -hmm. and nobody says anything about them. Like oh, they, in they America, are not at, if, I know. You, if you're against it, you will. Here, you can say it at your workplace. Hey, I got the V word, and mm -hmm. not only did I get sick, but, you know, I got... I think mm -hmm. I had some side effects. You can get away with saying all kinds of things yeah. about the V word. That being said, we had the the highest V word rate. Yes. Yeah, like one well, of the I highest. Well, I think I think uh, for the think, very first dose. I think Indonesia was for or okay. was it or yeah. Singapore or something like that. that. Makes At sense. Singapore, I think yeah, was Singapore top. Makes I sense. think because I was following all those charts. Yeah. But it's interesting that you say what you just said because mm -hmm. I was shocked. Mm. When the V word it turns out, you know, to be killing these people. Right. In the show. In the show. Yeah. That would not pass in the United yeah. States. So that would get censored yeah. in the United yeah. States. And so, <laughs> so these people are dying from getting the V word. Yeah. And there's these scenes of people saying, no, don't get the V word. And like running at the them. And then the, and then the military, you. you know, like has to shoot some people. Um I was so like, like guns oh my god, an anti V word. Yeah. Oh my god, this would never fly in the states. Unless it's like a you know, sort of like a Republican Yeah, unless like, it's some kind of Republican uh, propaganda TV like, show yeah. that's on some far off channel of the cable, you know, channel <laughs> kind of so thing. So guns and anti V word. Yeah, I noticed. Yes. Um but here I feel like it's just talked about it's not as political as it is in the u.s like the v word except For us, that we I had think, to yeah. we had to have our i mean it's weird because we had to have in our phones mm -hmm. our v word certificate when we go into restaurants right. i don't think that happened in the states did it? i don't think it did either yeah so well, there's no, it, did, weird... it did it did you it had did? to have the v word card the v word card yeah okay and you had to have that in i think Canada, places like Canada right, and Europe right. too. Correct us if we're wrong in the comments. Mm. Um, but yeah. yeah. Um, so it was practically mandated. Like if yeah. you wanted to live a normal life mm -hmm. in a city, mm -hmm. you had to have had the V word right? Yeah. in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, some of my friends who live in, who don't live in Seoul, who live in the South and who, you know, don't really have jobs to go to, like mm -hmm. they didn't get the V word and they were just you know, like ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that was a really interesting moment to witness on television. I was shocked. I was yeah. shocked. So I guess, are we collectively over it? I don't know. But I think if, if what you're saying is right, then it was different in Korea. It, it became a little different. Yeah. Like later, everybody was like, well, what was that for? And everybody yeah, was Yeah, that kind started of happening. Yeah, so every... Yeah. And I knew this was going to come. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to get into this too much, but I knew this was going to happen, mm -hmm. that it was going to, people were going to say, well, why was everybody so excited about all of it? I mean, yeah. I understand why it was saving people's lives and, mm -hmm. you know, helping people who are vulnerable and stuff like that. But the whole madness of it was madness. And right. I saw it as madness as it right. was happening. And I think you did too. But yeah, it's the first time I've seen something like that on a TV show. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, I think the difference, the primary difference in Korea is that I, there wasn't that much branding of anybody who didn't want to get the V word as morally flawed. Mm. Like, it wasn't like a moral, it wasn't like an ethical thing. How did like, it play out in the news? I because mean, in, the, in the States, the news is, in, is aligned with corporations and the government. Yeah. I so mean, that's the news, not conspiracy stuff. I studied media. Mm -hmm. it, that's actually yeah. how it works. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And it, it does how it, it is how it works to a certain extent here, with, especially with certain networks. But here's the thing. I bet the networks in Korea are not underwritten. They don't have their income paid for by pharmaceutical companies. Can I say pharmaceutical companies? Yeah, I, I'm sure you can. Yeah, yeah. Not Korea got the the, right, the, right. the the V words from mm -hmm. the United States. The United States, yeah. But, 
but I don't think that they were necessarily advertising mm, V-word manufacturers. So yeah, yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah.